Autumn is a beautiful time of year to get out into the garden now that the summer heat has gone. And what better place to start than giving your lawn some love to keep it strong and healthy through the cooler months. Today I'm going to share a few easy steps that will help prevent weeds, pests or disease from taking over as your lawn slows down to keep it looking great all through winter. With less sunlight hours and the dropping temperatures, it's really important to keep your lawns clear of debris to prevent them from suffocating, which can lead to fungal diseases or dead patches. To help stop this from happening, make sure you catch and remove all of your grass clippings, rake up fallen leaves, and cut back any overhanging plants or branches that may have grown over the lawn during spring and summer. It's really important to remove weeds from your lawns in autumn. As the growth slows down in the cooler weather, weeds can completely take over if you're not careful. There are so many different lawn weeds to look out for, including dandelion, creeping oxalis, clover, cudweed, bindi, crowsfoot, nutgrass, wintergrass, and summer grass. The best way to remove any weed is to dig it out manually, as this prevents the spread of seed, ensures the whole root system is removed, and best of all, avoids the use of chemicals. You can also use organic weed killers or even some household vinegar or boiling water. You do have to be extremely careful with these products though, as anything they touch, they generally kill. Now is the time to adjust your mower's cutting height. I suggest lifting it up one or two notches, as this will help with photosynthesis, which is basically turning light into energy. With less sunlight hours, the longer the grass, the more light will be taken in. Having longer grass also helps to prevent winter weeds from invading and damage from cold weather, frosts and snow. Over spring and summer, lawns can become really compacted with all of the extra mowing and foot traffic that comes with warmer weather. That's why aerating your lawn can give it a huge advantage by allowing it to absorb water, air and nutrients directly to the root systems. Aerating can be done using a motorised lawn corer, a weighted spike roller, shoe spikes, or if you're willing to get a sweat up, the trusty old pitchfork. Fertilising your lawns in autumn while the ground is still warm and the grass is still actively growing is ideal. This will encourage root development, colour and prolonged growth. I use a specialised slow release lawn fertiliser pellet. This ensures the grass absorbs all of the nutrients it requires at a nice consistent rate. If the searing heat or extra use of your lawn over the summer has left you with some damaged areas, now is a great time to do some minor repairs. Just rough up the damaged area, throw down a light layer of topsoil, then a little sprinkle of your lawn's specific seed before adding another light dusting of topsoil. Finally, water in with Hoseling Seaweed Tonic. Water once a week with the seaweed tonic for a month, making sure the seed doesn't completely dry out in between, and any damaged areas should be filled in by winter. It's best to try and do these repairs in early autumn if possible, that way the newly germinated seed can toughen up before winter. If your lawn is irrigated, it's time to back off and reduce water in to around once or twice per fortnight for around 20 minutes at a time. Obviously weather, position, location, and a whole host of other things can change any of this. So just adjust according to your situation. It also helps to water in the mornings so your lawn has all day to dry out, rather than watering in the afternoon and having it sit wet overnight, which can lead to fungal diseases. So there you have it, my top autumn lawn care tips to help your green space thrive. Now get outside and enjoy the garden. Well done, you've made it to the end of the video. Now, if you want to learn even more about gardening, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here or watch more gardening tips just here.